Today we are going to make slow cooked pork. Um, it's live fire. It's a Dutch breed of pigs kept at a monastery. The beef I had previous time, I received it vacuumized, but these are not, so we have to do it ourselves. We'll put them, put them in the oven on a low temperature together with some butter and thyme for several hours. Just take some dry thyme. Here we have the live fire pork with the thyme and the butter. Um, I've got it in a sous vide bag. It can have up to 120 degrees Celsius. And that's number two. We're going to put the meat in the oven. I will heat up the oven up to 72 degrees. I'm going to double check that with the thermometer. It goes in and both of the live fillets go into the oven. And now just wait. The steaks are in for one and a half hour now. The color turned whitish, pink white like. Um, it's doing pretty good. But it still can take some time in the oven. Together with the live fire fillets, we have a soup of knob, celery, and potato. And as a crouton, we will use deep fried knob, celery in the soup.
here you can see the golden yellow brown color of the knob celery when it's almost done okay our croutons are ready so now we will start with the soup Cut everything a bit smaller so it will be done faster. Just take a pan of water. And bring it to a boil. Okay, our soup is quite near where it should be. The potatoes are really falling apart. And also the nut celery is really soft. Just add some thyme to it. of salt, some pepper, it smells really good. It's a bit lower. Add some cream fresh. A bit of butter. And just put it on low temperature to stay warm until all the other things are finished. Together with the soup and the pork I will make a basic salad with uh, sprouts and some tomato, um, some olives and some pine nuts, some salt and some olive oil. I think that will do pretty well with the other things we have. The meat has been in the oven for about four hours, a bit less. So it's time to open it, the pan is already heating up.
smells really good. Okay, the pan is smoking hot, so we take our two steaks. Cook them for about 15 seconds each side. Okay, I think they're done. Um, so what I will do is I will put them on a plate and put them back in the oven on a low temperature so they stay warm but don't overcook. While finishing the last few bits of the other dishes. Just putting the croutons on the soup the salad is also finished And our fillets, this is the fat, which is totally tender and eatable in a pleasant way. So, let's see how the taste is.